All right, guys, so we're officially calling the barn build done. I'm over it. There's more upgrades to do, but it's done. We're not saying we're doing updates. I'm trying to show you the sky because it is beautiful, but you can't see it in the video. So anyway, barn is complete. As far as it's gonna go for now. Anyway, we got the stalls done. Horses are in. They're loving it. What do you think, Dolly? What do you want to tell the people? Huh? Tell them. See, she's loving it. So, quick little video, how we finished it up, and what else we got coming as far as upgrades go to the barn. So right here you can see we got the doors hung on the inside of the barn. Got everything all welded up for the most part. We had to add a few more pieces of angle iron to support the boards in the front of the stalls here. This always takes so much more time than I think it's going to once I start welding on something. Probably just because I'm super particular. Once that was all finished up, we went and picked up some more rough cut pine. It's what we used on our barn. Uh, some 2x12s. And we put those up in each of the stalls. We just pre-drilled some holes into the angle iron and then screwed right into the board. So hoping that holds up with the horses so far. It's been, been good, no issues, but that's how we got all those boards put in. Finally, we started focusing on the outside of the barn. We wanted a little run, so we bought some prefab panels. You can see here. We put those up and then also got some sand delivered and put sand inside of all the stalls so it was nice and comfortable and easy to clean up the horse's messes. We also went with uh, prefab panels because we wanted to be able to open them up right there. You can see we have them open so we can get in there with the tractor, add more dirt, and there they all all, all closed up. We added some troughs to each stall and started the water lines you could see on the outside. We added the feeders on the inside and then it was time to bring the horses in. Once the horses got in, a couple of them were a little skeptical. They haven't been inside a barn for about a year. Some of them over a year because we just have not had a barn. So... They were a little skeptical until we gave them some feed. Then they were all about the barn. And now you rarely find them outside of the barn. And that's it, guys. So we are done and wrapped up with the barn. And that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. The horses are in here. We've got all the animals in one spot. And it's never felt better. It's awesome. We love it, the horses love it. So moving on to other projects, gonna try to get out some more how-to projects. Uh, I put one out today on running some drip lines for our trees, and I'll try to do a few more. We're gonna put in some water lines going to the horse troughs in their stalls. Uh, getting a little creative with that because pipes do freeze here in the winter and we don't want those water lines freezing and we did not want to trench and bury all the lines. So we came up with another idea, but stay tuned, hit like if you like this video and go ahead and hit follow if you want to see some more of our projects and maybe some how-to videos on different things we're working on. Thanks for watching.